Well, it's just about back to school time again, but after months of remote learning, students are now able to break out those backpacks and feel those first day of school jitters once again. KSBY's Aaron Faye spoke with one local school district about the changes students and parents can expect to see this school year. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Neil. The staff at Lompoc Unified School District are trying to make the school year as normal as possible, but there are some modifications to keep people safe from COVID-19, including daily health screenings at home with families, sanitizing classrooms every day, and people have to wear masks indoors. Recognizing that masks are an inconvenience, but if that means that we get to have kids on campus from you know the traditional 8.30 to 2.30, um, school day, then it's an inconvenience that we're willing to deal with so that we can keep students on campus. Starting August 16th, students at Lompoc Unified School District will be able to go back to school. The district described the new year as pretty traditional, except for a few tweaks. Everyone on campus will wear masks indoors, and there will be daily sanitizing of classrooms and common areas hired additional elementary staff this school year to uh, try to keep our class sizes lower in grades four through six. For the upcoming year, Deputy Superintendent Vala said parents are worried about academic loss from remote learning, but first and foremost, the health and well-being of their children. So the district invested in new curricula and resources to help. We have social emotional curriculum for all of our campuses, as well as a counselor at each campus that is specifically targeting those social emotional skills so that students are intentionally taught how to navigate their various emotions that they may be feeling, uh, be it uh, anxiety, depression. The district is keeping some operations from remote learning. Deputy Superintendent Vala said staff found some meetings over video to be more effective. Some of our staff meetings that we did district wide, Zoom was uh, preferred because it was convenient. It allowed our families to have multiple family members attend parent teacher conferences and there wasn't the complication of finding childcare for their younger children. The deputy superintendent said the staff were excited to cut down on the student screen time and to use technology as a tool, but to have that face to face time with their students. Live in Lompoc, Aaron Fay, KSBY News.